right, for SkullsandBones.com, I am Metal Mark, here with Paul from Cannibal Corpse. What's up? Here in Atlanta on the Visceration Plague Tour. Last night was the first night in Orlando. How was the show? It was a good show. Yeah, good good first night. And, um, you know, six, six, seven hundred people or what have you. Uh, unfortunately, 1349 weren't there, just the three yeah. bands on the bill. But uh, it was uh, overall, it was a good show. Right on. Now, before this tour, y'all were in South America, and then after y'all were going to Europe for all the festivals. Right. How would you compare the USA crowd to the, everybody else in the world? I mean, USA, you know, got some great crowds here in the States, of course. I think it just de depends on, you know, a lot of times it's going to depend on, say, the, you know, the city you're in, the state you're in. You know, obviously America is a very big country, just like Europe is a big yeah. uh, continent, I guess, you know. But uh, there's some great, great crowds in the States. I mean, there's, there's great crowds really all over the world. So, um, you know, it's hard to compare them, I guess. But you know, I would think America's got some of the sickest. Yeah, very cool. Oh, yeah. Now, y'all been touring this album. It came out in February of last year. Have y'all thought about a new album yet, or y'all just strictly touring right now? Well, we're thinking about it, but nothing's been really done on that end yet. Um, you know, we have, like you said, a bunch of touring to still be done, going to Europe for these festivals and all that. Um, so we're, we're going to get working on some stuff hopefully soon, but as, as of right now, there is nothing, no material, nothing of that nature. We're still working on, you know, time frames of when we'd be in the studio and all that kind of yeah. thing. But, uh, yeah, a lot of touring to be done, so we're just kind of, you know, taking that uh, at hand first, I guess. Right on. Now, with every album, y'all try to get heavier and heavier and heavier. In your mind, what is the heaviest album you've ever heard? <sighs> Other than yours, yeah, that's that's a tough question. Um, I mean, there's some good ones out there, of course, throughout the years. You know, um, I mean, if you're talking like newer newer stuff, I mean, the, that that album by Eon, Bleeding the False, when yeah. that, I mean, that's just such a tremendous album. You know, I mean, heavy as hell, really. Um, you know, for 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 newer stuff, you yeah. know. Um, but uh, you know, it's 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 a tough question because you know you can sit here and think, and before you know it, you'll rattle off you know 20, 20 albums that are are brutal and heavy. But that Eon Bleeding the False, it's one of one of the one of the most brutal that I've heard in a long time. Hell yeah! Now with every album, also people are always stoked to see the new CD cover art from you guys. Do you have a favorite from throughout the years? Uh, I mean, they're all great. Vince is such a great artist, yeah. and he's done us great on every really album. So. You know, I mean, I think obviously, you know, when you look back and, and, and to this day, arguably Butchered at Birth might be, you know, one of the most brutal album covers there is and definitely, you know, maybe one of our brutal, uh, most brutal. Um, I just remember seeing that for the first time, you know, yeah. as, as a band going, okay, here's looking at the art for your new album, Butchered at Birth, like, holy what shit. the hey, holy, <laughs> what are we doing? You know, taking it to another level, you know. Um, so that probably would go down maybe as the most brutal for yeah. us, I think, you know, in my eyes. Definitely. Now, the band has sold over a million. You've toured with tons of bands. Is there something left or some band you haven't toured with that you would love to? Not really. I mean, we just did the Mayhem Festival with Slayer. Yeah. So, of course, that was like a big dream for us kind of a thing, you know, to actually be on a tour with them. We shared the stage with them in, in various festivals over the years. But to actually be on the on the tour was, was a, really a, a big thing for us. Um, this upcoming uh, festival run we got, we're actually playing with some bands that we were just like, holy, you know, I can't believe uh, Heaven and Hell are going to be playing yeah, on the same yeah, stage yeah, as yeah. us, or, you know, wow, we might be playing with Iron Maiden, or, the, you know, or Alice Cooper, or something like that. I mean, just if we're, I think at that, at this point, just if we're going to play with anybody like that, that, you know, when you growing up, you would never even think that you'd ever even come close to being doing something like that. But if you're going to, you know, be on the same bill or uh, share the uh, share the same same stage with bands like I just mentioned, that's just incredible. You know, yeah. I mean, really overwhelmingly, like just unbelievable, actually. Yeah. But but at the same time, really really cool. So, oh yeah. Now with the success of this band as a death metal band. There's so many you know, young kids that look up to you guys. What's the best piece of advice you would get? Like, if you look back at yourself at the beginning of your career, what's the best piece of advice you would give yourself? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I guess because I've never, I never got advice or seeked advice from yeah. anybody. You know, it was kind of like we just did our own thing. You know, so I just look at it like I, you know, I tell people all the way I went through it and the way we went through it. We didn't go out seeking, you know, help from people or anything. It was just like we do what we do. You know, yeah. we learned as we went. You know. Um, so, I mean, really, a lot of people come up to me and uh, talk about drums or what have you. You know, how do you do this, how do you do that? And I just, man, just practice, really, yeah. you know. Just, just, and, and you got to want to do it. If you, you have to have this will to do it. You can't just expect things to happen, and you can't expect them to happen overnight, you know. I mean, if you love this kind of music or anything for that matter, then just stick with it and, you know, 
good things will happen in the in the end. It might take a little while. So I really just tell people, hey man, do your thing. Don't give up. You know, um, but you got to have that will and that drive to succeed and, and to want to do it. You know, and yeah. I think you, you I think if you if you have that attitude, things will happen. You know. Very cool. Do you have any last words to the diehard cannibal course? Well, I just appreciate the uh, support over the years for for uh, you know for us and and death metal in general. And if it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't be here. So just keep it brutal. Fuck yes. The new yeah. CD has been out for every year. If you don't have it, you should just leave. You're blowing. I'm Metal Mark for SkullsandBones.com.